you said it best. People act like their clients just aren't the best because they're not getting paid and these people suck to deal with. They don't take us seriously and it just it's just our industry and this, that, and the other. And I remember when I first started the business, I think in the first full-time season, or no, I think it was the part-time season, I just got stiffed on some payments and I realized I can't let this happen anymore. This could be such a huge problem if the business grows because we need the cash flow. We need to be able to grow the company. We need money. We need money all the time. I knew that I had to fix this. So we did credit cards on file. And this was really, really scary, right? Do you remember how scared I was to to send the email, make the calls, do the thing? I do. It's so funny. You were like, we're going to lose a bunch of people. This is the percentage of clients that we're going to lose. They're going to hate it. We need to like batten down the hatches and prepare for the backlash that will be this announcement. It. And I, and I don't think that's just us. I think that that's like a common reaction to a shift like this. Yeah, and it was literally nothing. Everybody was super happy to do it. Everybody was happy, and it changed the game for us. And now I look at how we get paid, and that some people talk about how they have all this aging receivable, can't get paid, and I know that we're always paid, never wait on money. This is back to that gold problem recognize what could be changed, change it, make the difference, and see the huge reward in your business. You hear us talk all the time, try something. If it doesn't work, try something else. If it doesn't work, try something else. You just keep going and you keep moving forward. But those problems keep presenting themselves, just like the not getting paid presents itself with an opportunity. Now, you can do one of two things. You can buck up and you can change to credit card on file, or you can cry and bitch and say that nobody's ever going to do that. This The most ridiculous thing that I see and is people saying, that wouldn't fly in my area. That wouldn't fly with my clientele. That wouldn't fly with this. That wouldn't fly with that. And it, it's not true anywhere. It's so funny. So can I, I want to take this over from a marketing perspective because yeah. when we do shifts like this and when things like this happen, it's your job to come up with like what we're doing. Like you're the idea person and then I am sort of the creative mind behind that and the kind of the PR, you know, how are we going to present this basically? How are we going to wrap this up, make this super, super pretty? And it's so funny because it's the exact same premise. I'm going to look at this entire situation from a client perspective. I hire this lawn guy. He only takes cash or check, which sucks because I do everything with my credit card. So that means every week before he comes, I have to go to an ATM or I have to fill out a check. I have to leave it in the designated spot, you know, in my mailbox or under my welcome mat, or I have to be home to catch him to give it to him, or I have to make sure he leaves that invoice in my door, and then I've got to get it in the mail, and then I've got to get a stamp. That's a problem, right? And that really sucks. You know, I like this guy. He does good work and I'm I'm cheering him on. So I'll go through this kind of inconvenience. But then he tells me he is going to cards on file. And he's pretty scared when he tells me that. He thinks I'm going to be pissed. But it's such an incredible opportunity for me. Here, take my card. You provided me with an ease of service. So now I don't have to do anything. You have my card. Like maybe my provider thought I was going to be terrified that, you know, They've got my card on file. They, I, I don't want to provide anything. I swipe my card 20 times a day and have it locked in a million different websites. Like, like you think like that old school mentality, mm-hmm. like I only want to write a check. And of course there are clients like that. Are they your ideal clients? When you present this as a provider, you are not going to talk about, I'm switching cards on file because you guys weren't paying me on time and I was chasing down my money and I really want to be able to pay my bills and I cannot serve you if I can't afford the gas because you're not paying me on time. And that is actually a true thing I've seen people present this as. Wow. I didn't know that people actually ever did that. And and they've, I've seen it in text messages to clients that, you know, well, if you don't pay me, then I don't have the gas to get to your house, which is, I know, I see it's your fancy. eyes. It's fancy, right? Instead, and this did is- Did I ever thank you? For all the things you do enough because <laughs> you're so incredible. And I mean, I would have never said something like that, but you've really been everything. Well, thank you. So instead, when you focus on this, and I'll just read our, our cards on file letter template really, really quick. This is how I would recommend. This is what we did. And this is what I would recommend if you are making this big launch and you're nervous about what a client would think. Dear client, I have an exciting announcement to share with you today. As we launch a new season, we're making a change in our business to simplify service and create a more streamlined, convenient client experience for you. Moving forward, the billing for our lawn maintenance account will, accounts will be managed with cards on file in our secure client portal through our CRM. What does this mean for you? 
ease of service with some details, effortless client experience, no more invoices, no more snail mail, a lot of time saved, um, continued service you can trust. You can trust that service will continue to be completed on time without surprises because your service won't depend on your remembering to put cash or checkout for us. And then you let them know what they need to do, what action is needed. We don't need anything from you right now. This is just a notice that this is changing. We are going to be back in touch with you to collect your information. So you're giving them time to think about it and you're announcing it. And then you're going to contact them in a few days, a week, whatever, probably by phone or maybe again by email with the step-by-step action. And all you've done is make it a super exciting benefit for them that's improving their experience. You're, you're such a good, so good with words, selling, marketing, and, and telling the story. What I think is interesting about this, though, that we all really do, even if we don't project it to the people, we just think about me, 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 me. That's what causes the hesitancy. So I was scared about doing it because I was thinking about me. I was thinking about the reasons I was doing it. And I focused on, the. Re- I'm not getting paid. I'm not this. I'm not that. So of course, you're going to be scared when you present that to the com- uh, clients because they don't care if you get paid. It's about them. It's about what everything you just said, all the convenience it brings. It's all the, the good things it brings. No more nuisance anymore. Streamline, simplify service, all the good. So if I would have been thinking about that originally, I probably wouldn't have been as scared because I, I didn't realize you don't know what you don't know. And I didn't realize we were adding more value than we were trying to take, you know, the, mm-hmm. the value exchange was way freaking better for them than it was for us. We just happened to fix our problem. 